everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie. Today I'm sharing a layout with you that I made uh, for the Paper Issues Design team and the challenge is called Put It At An Angle. So you can interpret that however you want. You can put your photo at an angle, put the embellishments all at an angle or embellish your page diagonally or um, uh, well any way you really uh, want to interpret putting anything at an angle at really. So if you want to get some inspiration, you can go up um, and visit their Facebook friends and fans page, uh, Paper Issues Friends and Fans, and you can go and have some um, inspiration, get some inspiration from the, from the other design team members there. So I had a um, quite a drastic idea in my head and I wanted to use all of these pattern papers. Now, this is the collection from Bella Boulevard. It's an illustrated faith collection called All People, All Nations. And um, I am in love with Bella Boulevard, all their collections. Um, I love the illustrated faith. Um, I do a lot of journaling myself. So um, I love all of their um, uh, biblical sentiments and, and, and all of that. And this collection... Um, was a bit more neutral, um, if I can say it um, like that. It um, so uh, you you could use it for more than um, uh, for more than anything faith inspired or faith um, related. So I was really um, in love with uh, that first page and um, the colors, the vibrancy and the colors and the papers and the patterns and the and 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 all of that so i decided um my interpretation of putting it at an angle would be to take all of these papers and to layer them on top of each other um at different angles so um you'll see here that i'm just um trying to find the right um combination of the papers or um put them in the right order so that you get the most out of each pattern i didn't want to put a um a very colorful paper next to a um, another colorful paper. I chose to put a very colorful paper next to a um, tone on tone paper and um, then another colorful paper and then another tone on tone or just a you know plain um, the, like the pink or the yellow or, or, or so forth. So at this stage um, I'm just ruffling up the edges and I still wanted to do some machine stitching on this layout just to add some texture and um, as you'll as I go on you'll see that um, oh my ATG gun just um, spazzed out a bit but as I go on you'll see that it's not really necessary for any of the um, for any of the machine stitching um, because I do a lot of uh, ruffling up of the edges and distressing of the edges and, and so on. And I thought machine stitching would maybe be too much because of all the patterns and the colors and the, um, it, 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 it turns out to be a very busy layout. If you hear little noises in the background, it's my baby Lucy. She's, um, she's just hanging around on the floor here with me in my craft room. So she's going to make some noises <laughs> for us as well. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm trimming off the edge there of that and I really like that. Um, you can still see um, some of the, 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 the pattern on the B side of the paper. And um, yeah, so I wanted to do a lot of stapling on this as well. And I'm getting out my little um, uh, tiny attacher there. However, yeah, I've, I've had issues with my tiny attacher since I got it um, the first time and I, d I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to get another stapler out and this is one of my favorite shops. It's from one of my favorite shops. It's called Kath Kitston. It's a British shop and they have the most beautiful handbags and um, stationery and it's just gorgeous. So I'm using my Kath Kitston stapler for the first time. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and layer all of these papers together and I'm going to fast forward a bit because it is boring to see how, how I'm going to be doing all of this, but you get the idea. So, um, yeah. And here you'll see I've stuck down all of my papers in their different angles and 
I've ruffled up all of the edges, I've distressed the edges, I've torn some of the edges and I've stapled some of them down. Um, some of the corners of the papers, I've um, turned up the corners and I've stapled them down and I'm just showing you there all the different textures and, and all that. So I'm thinking now that this, the background, the, the, the white background is looking a bit too stark and too white for me. So I'm going to try and do something in the background. Um, I know it's very colorful and it's very busy, this layout, but I'm going to make it even more colorful and busy now. <laughs> So I'm taking out some of my um, sprinklers. It is a color called crepe paper. And what I'm doing, I'm using the um, nozzle of the, uh, of the mist bottle as a brush. So it's, um, I'm applying a lot of the, the color onto the paper. I didn't put gesso on the paper. So yeah, I, I, I really didn't think it needed it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm basically using the nozzle as my brush and I'm flattening the nozzle if I want to get a better spread of color um, on my paper and where I want the little um, swishes and swirls and tendrils, I just use the tip of the nozzle. I'm just going to go around doing this. I think I put two layers of this on here because I want the, the bits underneath going in underneath the paper to be a bit darker just to add some... Um, uh, um, a dimension to the page um, and a shadow to um, let it um, to have it look like it, there, there's a shadow coming out from underneath that first page that I've that I've put down there. I'm also going to come in with some um, gold um, Heidi shine, oh, Heidi swap color shine, yes, just to add some some more. Um, interest there with the with the gold and I go insane with the splatters here I splat them everywhere I don't mind where they fall um I, how big they are um uh, <laughs> so they're falling on the on the pattern paper they're going everywhere and um that's basically idea the messier the better with this layout for me the photo that I'm using is going to be of my three older children it was their end of year disco or yeah, it was a disco that the school had for them. And they <laughs> they dressed themselves. <laughs> okay, so I'm not using um, any adhesive here on the photo. I'm just stapling it together um, at an angle as well. <laughs> Lucy's moved all the way to the other side of my craft room. <laughs> So I'm snipping off the extra bits of the photo there that's hanging over a bit. And I am going to come in um, with some glue on the edge, um, the, the, the top right hand corner of the photo. I um, need some glue after I put those tabs on there because um, it curls up a bit. So I am going to add some glue, but that comes in a bit later. So this is the sticker sheet, the 6 by 12 sticker sheet. And um, I'm going to be very selective as to what I put on it and um, that little hexagonal um, sticker says hand in hand and that goes um, no that doesn't say hand in hand the one on top of it says hand in hand so um, yeah I wanted all the, the the sentiments that that sort of said um, anything to do with uh, you know we are together we can do this together we're hand in hand we're part of a clang sort of type thing and um this collection is perfect for that. Um, so there I come in with my stapler again, adding some texture and dimension and enter an extra interest. And those little tabs, I um, put them there to point down to the photo, to draw your eye to the photo. As this is a very busy layout, I was scared that the photo was going to get lost. Also, that's why it's in black and white and the colors on the photo would not have gone with all the colors um, on this page. So... Um, I'm just adding those uh, those little tabs to point down to the photo, adding some little stars there. And I'm going to, yeah, as I said, the only embellishing I am going to be using on this page is basically from the sticker sheet. I don't put anything else on it. Um, like I said, it, it's, it's busy enough. <laughs> so... Now back to the photo, it was the end of year disco and um, I should have known better than to um, send my older son to the disco. He, he's, he is on the autistic spectrum and um, 
you know, in my defense, <laughs> I don't know if I have a defense, but uh, he, some days he's got very good days and then, you know, you sort of forget about everything and then other days are very bad days and then you are um, very um, uh, <laughs> starkly reminded of, of what's going on. And he had been having quite a couple of good days um, by that time. And I thought, okay, well, maybe he would be able to cope with the music and, and everything. And you know what? He wasn't. And when I went to go fetch them, the poor child was in tears. And apparently he sat in a corner. And um, yeah, he, he, he was sitting in a place where nobody could see him. So nobody even knew, you know, where where he was or where he was sitting or where he was hiding away from everything. So... Yeah, I, I don't think there will be any more disco going for him in the near future. <laughs> so, so yes, but he does re look really cute in the photo. He's got flip-flops on with skinny jeans and some ski um, gloves. <laughs> so he thinks he is the coolest thing on earth. <laughs> My other child also there with his, with his leather jacket in this weather. Can you believe it? I mean, it's 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 it, it's close to forty six, forty seven degrees today here. Yeah, I'm not sure what's that in Fahrenheit, but but yes, they're all cool. And then there's my cute Emma in the middle there, giving her pose. What I'm doing here, I am outlining all the embellishments so that they pop off of the page a bit more. I did. You saw that I outlined the page with my doodly lines, the photo as well, and I outlined straight onto the photo with with a sharpie and that really makes the photo pop so um so yes and uh, outlining some of those um, embellishments just to give them some extra interest and that's about this for this layout i would really like to hear more from you um i've got some wonderful responses from um from wonderful ladies leaving wonderful comments about what they would like me to like to see me do so if you have any ideas of what you'd like me to do on my um, videos, please let me know in the comments and I'll see you again soon. Bye.